So Bayesian inference is based on Bayes' rule. Bayes' rule was invented by um, Pascal, and as the French always like to tell us, remind us, but also also by Bayes. Well, he had never actually wrote it down. It was written by Bayes, so somebody after, after him. And it's really, it's really a super simple piece of mathematics. And what it really is about is um, if you have some prior information about, about some aspect of the world, like some prior information that doing an action is going to give you a reward or not, you have some data about it. You, know, so you collect data by doing an experiment. You try the action, do you get reward or not? And then given those two pieces of information, something you know, a priori and some, some, some information there, you can then make some inferences about, okay, well now a posterior says, well now, how, now, now what, how should I update my, my expectations about what's going to happen in the world? So mm -hmm. that's just one instance of using Bayes' theorem. And that's why it's important decision-making because often we start out you know, with some uncertainty. You know, we're born ignorant in a way, and then we have some priors, and that's with the heuristics we talk about. These priors come perhaps from evolutionary programming is a way of thinking about it. We then are able to collect some data for ourselves. That's then that's sometimes called the likelihood. And then we generate posterior. So we generate new expectations about what the world is going to be like based on Bayesian inference. Mm -hmm. So Bayesian inference plays many roles in this, in this case. And indeed, you can think of um, the whole of reinforcement learning, you know, although we tend to be, you know, we tend to think of reinforcement learning as being the whole, whole problem, you can think of that as being a, another branch of um, Bayesian decision theory. It's just a particular interesting sort of branch of Bayesian decision theory. And the um, and what you're doing is you're coupling your ability to make inferences about the world. That's when there's something uncertain. You have to say, well, now how do I how do I incorporate this information to become less uncertain based on data I have, or more uncertain because I just discover that my expectations about the world are no longer true, and then use that to make decisions by essentially maximizing your gain or minimizing your loss if you're if you're if you think about losses rather than gains so in a formal way Bayesian decision theory is perfectly you know nested either inside if you're a reinforcement learning chauvinist or outside reinforcement learning if you're a, if you're a Bayesian decision theorist, theorist is chauvinist um, so they all integrate extremely nicely together and so that's indeed how you can think about it and then some of the complexities come up in you know, the exact way you're doing Bayesian inference and how you can do some of these generate these posteriors and so forth so in all those cases it works very nicely so when you're thinking about learning, for instance, just as one example, um, so we learn because there's something we don't know. If we knew everything, we wouldn't have to do any learning. And so Bayes, Bayesian learning tells us, Bayesian decision theory or Bayesian, Bayesian um, inference tells us exactly what to do. If you're ignorant, you're ignorant because there's something you don't know, you either are you know, born ignorant or you have ignorance thrust upon you. It gets thrust upon you either because um, you've forgotten, right? That's a good way to become ignorant in the future or because the world has changed um, because therefore something has changed in the world. And that means in both those cases, you then have to do learning because you have this ignorance. And Bayes, Bayesian reasoning, or Bayesian um, uh, un, uh, updating this case allows you to track that uncertainty in an appropriate way and then make inferences based on what that uncertainty is. So you can actually you know, make the right to, then you can make inferences about what the world is, then you can make decisions based on those inferences essentially. And as I say, these all nest together nicely with the respect to reinforcement learning. So we do, there's a lot of Bayesian decision theory uh, going on. Now, again, um, in many contexts, Bayesian decision theory is very computationally hard, and so we need to have approximations again. So that mm -hmm. then we get dragged back again to what sort of approximations and heuristics we can do to try, to try and do a reasonable job in a, in a nasty and brutish world. Mm -hmm.